Hi everyone, it's Tanya from Cup of Cha Tea Channel. The place to be for all the addicts, lovers and practitioners of tea and a place to build your tea knowledge. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, it's free and just hit that button down there. Now in this episode, I am recreating a recipe that was in a blog a couple of weeks ago from one of my favorite tea bloggers, the Tea Squirrel over in San Francisco. I find a lot of what she blogs about and photographs is really inspiring for the tea industry. She looks at tea and food pairings, but she also looks at tea infused food recipes. And tea is probably one ingredient that it has not been used as much or utilized as much by chefs out there in the restaurant and cafe world. So let's get into it. I will put a link to her blog below for you to have a look at. And there'll also be through her link, you'll see the original recipe that inspired her to create this tea infused Korean steamed eggs and it is infused with a, a, a shoe pua and um, we'll get going. So now we have, um, we've got our mushrooms ready. We've got our pua with misu paste ready, which has cooled down. I think this is a really important aspect to remember that this liquor liquid needs to be as cool as possible. You can't put that into, because we're about to mix it into some eggs and you can't mix that into eggs too warm at all because it's going to cook. Um, the egg mix before it gets poured into the ramekins that we have here. So, next step, because we're doing two ramekins as per tea squirrels recipe, we're going to just break in two eggs into the bowl. And it's always best to crack an egg on the bench not on the edge of a bowl because you can end up with bits of eggshells in there. Now this part of it, you don't actually whisk the egg because you don't want a lot of air bubbles and because that will end up in the, too many air bubbles in the actual mix. But you do need to mix the actual egg Now we add our, as you can see there, it is just a, a, brief, a little mix. Now we add in our pu'er, the tea, infused tea, and our misu paste. Now the misu paste I went with, there is a range of misu paste, and the tea squirrel, she didn't mention what style of misu paste. I've gone with a red miso paste, a little bit more bolder flavor um, to work with the mushrooms and the egg. Now, in that you have a pinch of salt and I'm going to add a pinch of pepper and it's mainly because I like pepper. So again, just a good stir in there so you have beaten the eggs. And we're now going to pour this into our ramekins. Divide the egg mix in between the two there. So I've got the water on the boil here. I'm now gonna place these very carefully inside. The water comes up about halfway up the side of the ramekins. And we're gonna cook them in there for about five minutes. So it's now been um, eight minutes and you can see that there's just a little bit of, it's still a little bit wobbly. 
the mix. So now we just add some of the mushrooms on top. Decoration as in some sesame seeds and some poppy seeds as well. So now we'll just pop that lid back on and let them sit for another eight minutes. It was steaming for eight minutes to begin with until it was still a little bit wobbly on top and you saw that I added the extra mushrooms on top. And then it's, I let it steam again for about six minutes this time. I've let them cool. I've now taken them out of the saucepan. So now I'm going to try this. It looks absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. That is really, that's really lovely. The pua is just, it just complements the misu so beautifully. You can use a white misu. Um, and you can, you can see a sneaky hand coming up there because it's part of my production crew. They're wanting to get stuck into these eggs as well. I want to do a great big shout out to the tea squirrel for a fantastic recipe and fantastic ideas. Today's production has been absolutely nuts. I've had visitors here and they've all been going back and forward and it's been a little bit crazy. And they've been waiting and waiting for this food to cook. So big shout out to the tea squirrel. What a fantastic recipe. I really enjoyed making this today. I highly recommend it. And if you're not following her yet, please follow her. She comes up with wonderful tea and food pairings as I mentioned, below, uh, mentioned earlier. I will, um, <laughs> I'll put a link to her blog below and in that blog, it will be her recipe. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.